Hi, my name is Emmanuel Echeverri. I'm the team Hot on Dreams and I'm from Colombia. This is the prototype serum known as the Disinfection Robot device. Have you even need to disinfect in your home, office or any place to avoid COVID-19? We are living with a lot of anxiety, worried constantly that we could get infected by COVID-19 or our loved ones. COVID-19 has changed our lives. As of now, we are facing challenges that we weren't used to due to this pandemic. We need to learn how to cope with humanity with this pandemic and earn trust with people. When you go to the supermarket, drugstore, restaurants, or receive cash or any type of statements, we must disinfect each object. Otherwise, you are at risk of being contagious with COVID-19. This is why I created the ideal robot named Prototype Zero, which allows you to disinfect products in a very safe and quick way. It can be used in any commercial place. It can be used in your house, office, university. You can take it anywhere because it is portable and easy to use. It's a cabin type robot unit with a basket placed in one of the sides, in which objects are put by people to disinfect and clean of viruses. Once an object is put in the basket, it is transported on a rotating band to the cabin center point where it is cleaned and used in sparkles that vaporizes sanitation solution in the cabin. The object is sanitized in just 7 seconds as fast, quiet and safe process for it and people too. Finally, the object is moved to the other side of the cabin where it's ready to pick it up by the user. In a corner of the robot, we have the control panel. One of, of the bottom make the basket go forward, the second one go backward. The third bottom turn off and turn on the servo motors to activate the sprinkles. The robot includes a light to see the dark side of the cabin. And now, let me introduce you Prototype Zero, solving real problems in the real world, the best solution. Muchas gracias, muy amable. Bueno, muchas gracias. Muy amable. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. 